Okay, you've got to do your back tea. Mm hmm Very important. Noah went inside and shut the door of the ark. Then the rain started to fall. Are you ready? Yep, stay sitting on your bed. Okay. Yes, darling, it's time for bed. You've had a lovely day full of fun and adventure. <laughs> now it's time to recharge for tomorrow. All right? Right, let's get you undressed then and get you changed into your pyjamas. I got you some lovely new pyjamas. Yes, you can see them once you got undressed. Okay, come on. Come on then. Right. Lift your arms. Well done. Now your trousers. Come on. sweet is that? Yeah, so Mr. Froggy is sitting on a lily pad and look, he has a friend. Yeah. And what is that? Yeah, it's a butterfly. Looks a bit like a pumpkin, doesn't he? <laughs> and then Mr. Foggy sitting there. Do you think that would fit me? <laughs> Maybe I have to get myself some and we can match. these trousers. Yeah, they've just got stripes on, but you like stripes, don't you? I thought so. Your dad came and dressed your bear. Mm. Football. I know, silly daddy. Okay. Right. Are you going to be good so I can put these on you? Do you know which one that is? Well done. 
and your right. There we go. Oh, they fit you perfectly. Okay, so now let's put Mr. Froggy on you. Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. <laughs> rip it, he's coming to get you. <laughs> no, Mr. Froggy won't hurt you. He's friendly. over your head then you can put your arms in yourself can't you? I'll help you there we go Ooh. right okay put your arms in yep yeah. that's it that's it well done okay and just there we go yeah that looks lovely on you it fits you really nicely actually okay I love you too. <laughs> Cute, aren't you? Right, I'm just gonna quickly give your face a wipe. I know you hate it. Okay, but you need to do a lot of playing about today, so your face is a bit dirty. I've just got a little damp cloth here for you, so it's not completely wet. Okay, right, ready? Come on. <laughs> I know you hate it, but... Okay, you're gonna let me do the other side of your face now? I know, I know. Such a hard life for a four year old, isn't it? Right. Are you ready? Okay. Come on. Gonna do around the back now. Okay, you've got to do your back teeth. Mm-hmm. Very important. side now. All right. <laughs> yes, you're being very good.
Okay. Well done. They look lovely. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's brush your hair. Which brush do you want me to use? You like this one? You only like it because of round, don't you? Yeah. And you like the spikes on it. Okay. That's fair enough. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Are you going to hold still for mummy? Yeah. Okay. It's not, I'm not going to pull your hair, it's going to be fine. Oh, I know. Ready? It's a good job you haven't got much hair, isn't it? I'm not going to do the other side. That wasn't so bad, was it? No, exactly. So, I'm going to read you a story tonight, okay? I thought I'd read one out of this. A new book we got you? Yeah? Does that sound good? What story am I going to read? Mm. I'll surprise you. you up to you. <laughs> Come on then, sweetheart. Go on then. What? Okay. So I have your favourite bedtime doggy for you. There we go. to read to you while you look at the stars, okay? Okay.
Noah's Ark. Long, long ago, when the world was still new, God looked down and saw that the people on earth had become wicked. They had forgotten that God wanted them to be good instead of helping each other. They spent all their time fighting and hurting one another. All this wickedness made God unhappy. But an old man named Noah remembered God. Noah and his family spent their days working hard and being kind to their neighbours and to each other. God was so pleased with Noah and his family. One day, God spoke to Noah. The world is too full of wickedness, God said, and I am going to send a flood to destroy the earth and everyone on it. But I will keep you and your family safe. What must I do? asked Noah. Build a big boat called an ark, said God. It must be big enough to hold you and your whole family, and two of every animal in the world. Noah got to work right away. His sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, all helped. They planned and measured. They chopped and sawed. They hammered and heaved. And together, they built a great, strong ark. At last, the ark was ready. Noah's wife, his sons, and his sons' wives all climbed aboard. Then Noah gathered two of every animal on earth. Every creature that hopped, or walked, or crawled, or flew, came to board the ark. There were cats and bats and rats, monkeys and donkeys, hooting owls and wolves that howled, kangaroos and kinkajous, big baboons and little raccoons. So many animals of all sorts of shapes and sizes. The ark held them all. When the last animal had climbed aboard, Noah went inside and shut the door of the ark. Then the rain started to fall. It rained and rained, and the water rose higher and higher, covering everything on earth. Even the tops of the highest mountains were underwater, but the ark floated on the water and inside, everyone was safe and warm and dry. Finally, after forty days and forty nights, the rain stopped. Then strong winds began to blow, drying up the water. Soon the mountain tops appeared, and the ark came to rest on a mountain called Ararat. One day, Noah sent a raven out of the ark. Soon, it came back. It hadn't found anywhere to land. A week later, Noah sent a dove out. This time, it came back with an olive branch in its beak. So Noah knew that it had found some trees, and that the earth was almost dry. Noah waited another week, then sent the dove out again. This time, the dove did not come back. It had found a place to land. It is time to leave the ark, Noah told his family. He opened the doors, and all the animals went out. All the birds and beasts, and all the creeping, crawling creatures. They spread out to find homes and raise their families. Finally, Noah and his family left the ark. They were so happy to be back on dry land. 
The first thing Noah did was pray to God to say thank you for keeping him and his family safe from the flood. Suddenly, Noah saw something beautiful in the sky, a bright, shining rainbow. The rainbow is a sign of my promise to you, Noah, God said. I will never again send a flood to destroy the earth. These days, whenever we see a rainbow in the sky, we remember Noah and God's promise to him and to us. read one more story. The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Once a young boy named Franz worked as an apprentice to a sorcerer. Every day the sorcerer gave Franz a long list of chores to do around the castle. While he disappeared into his workshop to chant spells or journeyed to nearby villages. But Franz wanted to learn magic. He knew the sorcerer kept a spell book in his workshop, and he longed to read it. So he decided to sneak a look the next time the sorcerer went out. suddenly sprouted little arms and leaped into action. It carried the bucket to the well and fetched the water to fill the container. After a while, Franz noticed that the container was overflowing. There was water all over the floor. Stop, he shouted. But the room, the broom, didn't stop. Panicking, Franz grabbed an, Franz grabbed an axe and chopped the broom into small pieces. But the little pieces of broom grew arms. Soon there was an army of new brooms. The sorcerer returned just as the overflowing water reached Franz's knees. Please forgive me, master, Franz cried. I just wanted to try magic. The sorcerer was angry. He chanted a spell, and in an instant, the brooms all vanished, and the water disappeared. You have much to learn, the sorcerer told Franz, sternly. I promise to work very hard, the apprentice replied. Very well, replied the sorcerer. You can start by cleaning this floor the old-fashioned way.
one more short story. The egg. Little parrot lived in a nest with mummy and a big pink speckled egg. I'm going to find some food, mummy told her one day. You must look up. You must look after the egg until I return. Little Parrot watched the egg for a very long time. Then she wobbled it around to make it comfortable and wrapped her rings around it. And wrapped her wings around. I'm very good at looking after eggs, she squawked, feeling pleased with herself. Just then, the little parrot heard a tap, tap, tapping noise. Coming from the egg, and then, crack. Oh no, I've broken it, she cried. Mummy will be mad. But when mummy returned... She wasn't angry at all. Look, she said, as a tiny baby parrot popped out of the broken eggshell. You took care of the egg perfectly. Now it's hatched and you've got a new baby sister to play with. Good night, sweetheart. Sweet dreams.